Did you know Azerbaijan is home to the world's largest landlocked exclave? Nakhchivan is an autonomous Azerbaijani republic with magnificent landscapes defined by the Zengizer Mountains. Nakhchivan's geographic isolation over time means it's developed a unique culture, and it's also home to one of Azerbaijan's most impressive sites, Alinja Castle. But views like these must be earned, so join me on this journey to discover the culture and history of Nakhchivan. The name of the region comes from its capital, Nakhchivan city dates back to around 1500 BCE. According to folklore, Nakhchivan was founded by the prophet Noah, who is also believed to be buried here. I'm visiting one of the city's most famous historical monuments, the Khan's Palace. Here is Nakhchivan Khan's Palace. Nakhchivan Khan's Palace is related to 18th century. To 20th century, the Khans ruled the state from here. The recently restored residence is richly decorated with an elaborate design and original artifacts. This room is a dining room. Uh, I want to show this teapot to you. This is, that is so historical. Yeah, oh, this beautiful. is a copper, yeah. And so these are the cons yes, of the Khan Khan Khan's, For example, seeing Khan's Nakhchivanski. Fast forward to today, and the singular landscapes of Nakhchivan look very different from the rest of Azerbaijan. They are best admired on the scenic road to Orduban, the exclave's second largest city. There's an old world charm that's unique here. Many locals are eager to open their homes and share their culture with travelers. I've been invited to try a traditional Nakhchivan recipe with Banu and her family. Banu is an experienced home cook. Today she's made me a local staple, Arzuman Kifta. Salam, salam. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Arzuman kifta is one of the most famous dishes from Nakhchivan. Can you tell me more about it? Arzuman kifta is Nakhchivan's Ordubad's Engedim yemeklerinden de. Bu yemek evveler hanlar için hazırlanıp de, hanların aziz konağı gelende bu yemek onlar için hazırlayıplar. Ve biz de indi evimize en aziz konağımız gelende, hansa bir şartlarda, toyda, nişanda bu yemek hazırlanır. The giant meatball must cook for two hours and is served on a bed of potatoes and chickpeas. It's like a set of Russian dolls, ground beef and lamb, stuffed with chicken, stuffed with hard-boiled eggs. So there's so many layers, it's kind of overwhelming. How do I eat this? Bunun birinci yemeğin suyunu yiyirlər, lavaşı doğrursan içində suyunu yiyirlər, sonra da bunu lavaşa bükürsən dənini yiyirlər. It doesn't get more local than this. Everything is homemade. Banu even made the yogurt and cherry juice. Thank you so much. Sahur, thank you for everything. Bye-bye. I've got a lot of energy after that hearty meal, which is great news because I'm ending my trip at Alinja Castle. There's a bit of a hike though, so I hope I can manage it. My trek begins in the shadow of the formidable Mount Elendog. You've got to work for the view. The only way to access the site of the medieval fortress is by tackling its 1,500 steps. <sighs> Imagine trying to invade this place wearing a full set of armor. No wonder they call it the Invincible Castle. At the top, it's easy to see why Alinja was a valuable outpost. Warriors stationed here could see enemies arriving 40 kilometers away, in every direction. The castle was rebuilt from ruins in 2014 to reflect its former structure. Alinja means invincible. Did the castle stay true to its name? Asırlar boyu Alinja qala alınmaz qala olubdu. Həmçinin Əmir Temurun hücumlarında da Əmir Temur döyüşlə Alinja qalanı tuta bilməyibdi. Bütün dövrlərdə Alinja qalanın alınmaz olması Azərbaycan tarixində mühüm əhəmiyyət kəsb edən hadisələrdən biridir. After 14 years of battle, Tamerlane did eventually take Alinja in 1401. But only after soldiers had vacated the stronghold. The best view is at the very top, which means one last set of stairs. Nakhchivan has been an unexpected discovery, a place that feels completely detached from the modern world. I think I'll catch my breath here a bit before heading back down. It's a great excuse to take in this view one last time.